and they kicked out Lord Ra. But Ra had already figured out they're setting me up. So he said, who can I trust? The administration of the kingdom and my money. Who can I trust? So Lord Ra took the administration of the kingdom, removed it from the Chateau. Now, this is before the rebellion, and he said, you know what? There are a couple of priests I can trust. These priests were known as... You're right. The term then was Perea. We now call it Pharaoh. Oops. The Pharaoh. They were entrusted with the administration of the kingdom. The money he gave to his children. All of my offspring, you hold the money, you control the money, we'll be okay, the Shetu lizards won't get it. Ra, in becoming the one and only God, the one and only father, was known as Ra Ka, which literally means father essence, the ultimate father. In approximately 6,000 B.C., Ra turned over the money to Ka, suffix M, means of, offspring, the children of. However, Kam, Ka'am, eventually became Kam, but Kam was an ancient word for shield. Okay? Now, I want you to watch this real. It's a coincidence. The administration of the empire was turned over to the Raqqa Perea, or the Raqqa Pharaohs, and the wealth of the empire was given to the Ra Khan or the Ra Shield. In 6000 BC, the two most influential groups, the power groups, were the Rockefellers and the Ra Shields. Oh. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> but it ought to scare the hell out of you. <laughs> Could this be Rockefellers and Rothschilds in control of the money and the administration of the empire in 6,000 BC, 8,000 years ago? And isn't it a coincidence that we now have Rockefellers and Rothschilds?